Thank you, thank you. Glad to be here. Uh, born and raised in Chicago, and uh, coming to D.C. to celebrate conservatism is a little different than where I've been raised, that's for sure. Uh, it's good to be here celebrating the next generation. As uh, the old quote goes, blessed are the children, for they shall inherit the national debt. And with the current administration, uh, my generation is going to have to inherit a lot of debt. And it's good to see patriots from all across the country assemble, strategize, connect, and network so that we can take back the Senate and the White House in the future so that we can make sure our children can prosper in the future. At this, At this time, I'd like to uh, introduce Jenny Shields, who's going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to uh, call up Kyle Guerin, who's going to lead us in the invocation. Please join me in prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we come before you today in reflection, taking what we have learned and witnessed and make use of that knowledge. But we are also in a state of prospect. We are indeed hopeful for our future and for our posterity. This dichotomy is the state we find our nation in as well. We're emboldened from our past and go sure-footed and steadfast into the new day. Lord God, we beseech thee to fill this place and fill our hearts. Look down upon us today and guide us with your benevolent power and grace to do your work and to help fulfill your will. Father, allow us to derive strength from the words of our former leader, Ronald Reagan, when he said, Join with me in giving thanks to Almighty God for the blessings he has bestowed on this land and the protection he affords us as a people. Let us as a nation join together before God, fully aware of the trials that lie ahead and the need, yes, the necessity for divine guidance. Let this be our creed today and let this pave the course of our actions. Faith and religion play a critical role in the political life of our nation. It always has and that the church, all churches, all denominations, has a strong influence on the state. And this has worked to our benefit as a nation. Those who created our country understood that there's a divine order which, trans which transcends the human order. They saw the state, in fact, as a form of moral order and felt that the bedrock of moral order is religion. I pray now, Lord, that you bless those who will be speaking before this gathering today Speak through them so that every heart be touched and made anew before leaving this place. Forever ingrain these lasting principles to us, and let us go from here in firm conviction of what our goal is to be, to help build that shining city on the hill, brick by brick. God bless over this crowd, each and every soul. Bless and watch over our nation, and especially those who lead it. All these things we pray in your son's holy name. Amen. So coming from Chicago, I have to do a shameless plug here. Uh, if you haven't voted in the straw poll, you haven't been from Chicago because we have a saying in Cook County, vote early, vote often. So with the straw poll, if you voted already, register again and vote again. If you haven't voted, make sure you vote. But if you really, really like a candidate, just make up numbers and plug them in the computer and vote again. We need to get more people to vote. Make sure that your voice is heard. The results from the straw poll are usually national headlines. If you like a candidate, if you're not sure, just go with whatever speech you like the best, because we need to make sure that people understand the conservative message and where we want to take this movement in the future. So make sure you go vote in the straw poll. About five to six years ago, the national debt was not really a big, big deal. People didn't even know we had a national debt or deficit. 
But then a grassroots movement known as the Tea Party started to emerge. And what made the Tea Party so effective was not only it came from the grassroots, but it had three core values. Fiscal responsibility, constitutionally limited government, and free markets. And because of the Tea Party, we were able to put patriots like Michelle Bachman, Joel Walsh into Congress so that they can make sure that Congress will not continue to spend my generation's money. We need to save the Tea Party so that we can save America. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jenny Beth Martin from the Tea Party Patriots.